Today is November 1st, 2016. And it's election week. I can't wait to find out who the new president will be. Speaking of new leaders, let's go meet the two new teachers for the fifth grade. I'm Delaney and I'm in the fifth grade hallway and we're going to get to know two new fifth grade teachers. The first new teacher is Miss Pauls. What is your favorite candy? I like dark chocolate. What is your favorite book that you've read? I love the Harry Potter series. Cool. Um, what do you like most about the Webster City Middle School? I love all the awesome fun kids that we get to work with. Cool. Well, thanks for coming. Hope you have a great year. Thanks. Have a good day. Now for our next new teacher, Miss Casca. What is your favorite part of the middle school? I really enjoyed getting to meet all of the students, and I really like being able to teach science, which is my favorite subject. What is your favorite school activity when you were in school? When I was in school, I really enjoyed doing mock trial, and I was on the swim team, and I did a lot of theater and choir activities. What is your favorite Halloween movie? I love the movie Hocus Pocus. I watch it every year. It's my favorite. Wow. Well, thank you for coming. Hope you have a great year. Thank you. Well, now that's all for me, so let's hand it on over to Keegan. Hi WCMS, I'm Keedy, and the fifth graders are working on making songs and music on the app GarageBand. Mr. Brenner and Ms. Coral are having us use GarageBand to make songs in the music room. We start off by using a smart instrument and adding different tunes to it, and then start oh, starting over again. Then we can present it to the class if we want. Here are some examples. It seems like everyone likes to make music on GarageBand. Now let's jam it on over to the anchors. Wow, those are some pretty neat projects. I would definitely vote for those. Would you say that the presidential election is a contest? Yeah, kind of like the math coin contest that the sixth graders are doing. Let's go check it out. Hey, it's Colin, and if you were to ask a 6th grader what their favorite part in math was so far, I bet they would tell you it was playing the penny game. Brackets were made in each class to determine the class champion. Right behind this door, the ch class champions will be going head-to-head -to, -head to find the overall penny game champ. The class champions are... Entering, representing Mrs. Peter's homeroom, Skyler! Entering from Playboy's room, Max... And entering, representing Mr. Lyons' class, Jace. Representing Mrs. Turpin's room, Wyatt. And representing Mr. Stone's room, Hatcha. Congratulations, Skylar, on the big win. Now let's flip it over to Reese. If you want to learn your Iowa history while watching a musical performance, then you better come down to the sixth grade wing. 
Hi, I'm Reese, and I'm going to talk to you about sixth gra- about the sixth graders' parodies. First, we had to fill out packets about what we read in our history books about Iowa explorers. Then we got partners and began to make lyrics. After that, we videotaped our performance if we chose to show it on the Apple TV, or we could perform it live. Thomas and Jefferson heard a train to Napoleon. Clark was on an expedition. The one with the prettiest of views. They saw mountains, they saw rivers, they saw sights to give you shivers, and it sure was helpful with a boat. Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson was the one who sent them on this expedition to find out more about the Louisiana Territory that he bought for $15 million. When I walk on by, Indians be trying to help me, yeah. I was looking for a river to the Pacific Ocean, yet it wasn't there. I was a little disappointed, just a little. I was in St. Clark. Thomas, look at that land. Land. Thomas, look at that land. Land. It was fun, challenging, and for some, a little bit embarrassing. So, on that note, let's send it to the anchors. Well, those parodies were pretty amazing. Yeah, they were something else. That reminds me, did you watch any of the debates on TV? Yeah, I did. Actually, they were kind of like the 7th graders' pathways debates. Let's go see what the debates were about. Hello. Welcome to this debate. My name's Ben, and I'm with my partner moderator, Noah. Let's go in and see what our candidates think about pathways. So, this question is for Mr. Trump. What do you feel are the pros of pathways? Well, if you ask her, there are no pros, but I'd say it is a great use of time or students are building bridges, towers, like my Trump Tower, and walls. M- Mr. Trump, your, your 10 seconds are over. This next question is for Secretary Clinton. What is your opinion on kids getting to freely work by themselves during genius time? I think it's a great idea. It gives them a chance to explore their opportunities in the future. And you, Mr. Trump? Genius time is a great idea. We need more geniuses in Washington, D.C., because there certainly hasn't been any there for the past 30 years. Donald needs to do another fact check. I think there are some pros to Pathways because it takes some time out of students' class time, but they are still furthering their education. Wrong. Last thing. Okay, I'm done. Well, that's all we have time for today. Make sure you vote. Speaking of voting, let's see what the 7th graders are doing in geography with Jace. Hey, WCMS. It's Jace. Did you know the U.S. presidential election is next Tuesday, the 8th? The 7th graders have gotten ready for the upcoming election by taking a poll in geography. The poll consisted of two parts. We first took a quiz to see which party we actually believed in. Then, we voted on the candidates to see how the press affects our beliefs. Here are the results. Some students voted for different candidates than that of the party they sided with. 33 students were Republican, and 33 voted for Trump. 19 students were Democrats, and 25 voted for Hillary. 
In 19 students were libertarian, in 13 voted for Johnson. While we wait for the national vote to come in, let's send it back to the anchors. It'll be interesting to see who wins the election. Speaking of the election, we wouldn't have a vote without the Constitution. That reminds me, the 8th grade has been making projects about the preamble to the Constitution. Let's go see some of the projects. Hey WCMS, it's Allie. In history, we have been talking about the Constitution. The preamble is part of the Constitution. We could choose to make a book, write a song, or write a poem for our projects. Let's hear some examples of preamble projects. We the people of the United States, no one is telling us what to do. We will have our own debates. In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, make sure there's no injustice, ensure domestic tranquility, keep peace up to our ability, provide for the common defense, and tame armed forces to protect our country and citizens, even though it won't just cost a few cents, promote the general welfare, to ensure citizens are free from poverty, hunger, and disease. We're always aware to secure the blessings of liberty ourselves and our posterity, ensure basic rights for now and future generations, maybe by donating to charity, do ordain and establish a constitution for the United States of America, better organized for all of America, and now we are free. Hey WCMS, it's Jack here, and today I'm going to give you an update on your PE classes as we have started our physical fitness tests and they're going great. Everyone is trying their hardest on every test. Here are some of the best. Keep trying your best, Surface City. That's all for me. Let's toss it back to the anchors. Man, those fitness tests do look tiring. Good thing they'll be over soon. Actually, Winter Storts practices started this week, and the mock trial team has their competition on November 3rd. November 11th is Veterans Day, and the 8th grade is doing some cool stuff that day. On Tuesday, November 15th, the 6th through 12th grades have a jazz band concert. And on Thursday, the 17th, there is a 6th grade chorus concert at 7. Well, that wraps it up. See you next time. From, From the, the Middle. middle.